Hi, welcome back. This is a quick tutorial on how to create the drony shot with your DJI Mavic Air 2 drone. These are the shots where the drone will focus on a subject and slowly fly backward and up in a constant angle while still focusing on the subject. First, as always, launch your drone in a safe area where you know there will be no obstructions or risk of collision. One important thing to note is that you should be in an area where the drone can fly backwards and up without any obstacles. The drone will literally have to fly in an angle like this, so make sure there are no trees, buildings, giraffes, or anything else that may get in the way. Once you have a good area to fly, click the mode selection button just above the record button. Select quick shot, then select the droney option. You will have the ability to select how far you want the drone to go by selecting an option here, which is a scrollable list. For this example, I'll use the maximum distance of 120 meters. Now, you will have to select a subject for the drone to focus on while it does the drony shot process. In this example, I'm going to select my car. You'll see the drone has an intelligent selection option, so all I did was click the plus icon and it automatically selected my car. You can, however, draw a box selection if you wanted to focus on some other object. Once you have your subject selected, click the start button. The drone will then do a countdown before starting. Three, two, one. Once it starts the process of taking the drony shot, you'll see the drone start moving backwards and up in a smooth line. You will be able to track the entire process by seeing a percentage completion on the record button. If at any point you wanted to cancel the drony shot, just click the X in the record button. Once the quick shot is complete, the drone will automatically return to the spot where it started the quick shot. The whole process takes about a couple of minutes to complete, so always be mindful of the drone's battery life. Once the process is all done, you will have a single video file that you can use in your awesome videos. Hope that helps you out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more helpful info.